Mojoholics. Welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. Let's pump up the jam. In case you missed it, this week we finished up our series on the top 10 video games per generation with the all-time list yesterday. So be sure to check that one out, as well as our many other series if you have a few hours to kill. Yesterday, we also published a video I'd been looking forward to for quite some time. Top 10 Jean-Claude Van Damme splits. Seriously, I defy you not to be impressed after you watch that one. And finally, today we published top 10 actors who were recreated with special effects. So whether an actor passed away in the middle of filming or decades ago, it doesn't matter. Through the magic of computers, they can still star in your movie, TV show, or commercial. After all, it is the future. It's the weekend again, and it's Labor Day weekend in my neck of the woods, which means a long weekend. Which means even more time to spend watching a Mojothon. And pretty soon I won't be able to wear white anymore for some reason. Anyway, if you want to know what we've got for you on this long weekend for you to watch, here goes. Anime fans, we've got something coming your way. Top 10 Anime English Voice Dub Actors. And this one was crazy, crazy popular on the Suggest page, so I know you guys have been waiting for it for a while. Top 10 Rap Anthems also comes out tomorrow, so if you want to party up in here in the club without me, you should watch that if you catch my drift. And finally, Top 10 Movie Crossovers comes out on Sunday. So whether it's cartoon characters, Starfleet captains, or movie monsters, these are a few times when your favorite franchises came together to entertain. Are you guys ready for some trivia? Let's do it. What does the name Keanu supposedly mean in Hawaiian? Cool breeze over the mountains, loyal and kind, shows no emotion, or strong waves across the sea? You are correct if you said cool breeze over the mountains. If you want to test your knowledge on that or anything else, head over to watchmojo.com slash trivia. Anyway, I'm talking to you about Keanu Reeves because he turns 50 on September 2nd. Whoa. Anyway, if you like his serious movies or his not so serious movies or his indie flicks or his blockbusters, celebrate his birthday with a viewing sesh of these videos. Top 10 Keanu Reeves roles, top 10 action movies of the 1990s, top 10 alternate casting choices in film, top 10 celebrity commercials before they were stars, top 10 actors who crashed as musicians, Top 10 Movie Idiots, Top 10 Worst Movie Accents, and more. Also, don't forget to make your way over to watchmojo.com slash calendar to see thousands of our older, equally timely videos. And while you're there, make sure to vote on the topics that matter most to you so we can tailor our future videos to your tastes. Before we ask you guys your opinions on a few of our lists, we thought we'd let you see where your hard work gets you. Top 10 Rap diss Tracks came out this week, Top 10 Movie Fights on Boats comes out tomorrow, and Top 10 Movie Fights on Rooftops comes out on Sunday. Thanks again for your help in choosing those lists. But we've got even more lists in need of your input this week. To start, Top 10 Hanging On For Life Movie Scenes. It's not just movies like Cliffhanger. Let us know who you liked seeing Hanging On For Dear Life the most, you weirdos, by voting on the Suggest page. We've also got Top 10 Blind Movie Fights. We mean blindfolded, obviously. You know, when one of the combatants can't see and it brings a whole new level of tension to the fight and it's awesome? Yes. And finally, top 10 movie crotch shots or low blows. Sure, they blindfold me, but they won't let me kick anyone in the crotch. Well, I don't need to explain this one. Nothing's funnier than seeing something hit someone in the groin. So cross your legs and vote. And as always, be sure to head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest to let us know what you think. And while you're there, make sure to exercise your right to vote on any other lists you might have an opinion on. Hey everyone, thank you as always for joining us on the couch for some quiet time and some question answerings. With me as always is my friend and yours, Dan. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, first question this week is a goodie. Aurora Boreanis wants to know, Dear Rebecca and Dan, which famous actor or actress of the same sex would you marry? Same sex, eh? Um, well, I would say Tina Fey again, but I said her last week for a celebrity I wanted to have a conversation with, so I can't say it again. That's why she wants to have a conversation with her. 
Uh, so I will go with Jennifer Aniston because I like her hair and she's super hot. What are you gonna do? Dan? Idris Elba. Yeah. I would also marry Idris Elba. Yeah. Alrighty, I got one, yeah, that comes up a lot and it's for you, Dan. Rebooting7 wants to know, what race is Dan? Is he mixed, Indian, or just tan? Because apparently those are the only options. Um, essentially I'm just tanned. I'm very Canadian, I'm a mix of a bunch of stuff. Like, we have sun here. We do have sun here. Nah. Uh, I'm French Canadian, Scottish, and Danish, I think, if you trace it all back, but nobody really knows. We don't have any like old, old country family in my family, so. Boring answer, Canadian. Good oh answer. Uh, anyway, we got one last question here from Mati, who is Earth, I think, to Rebecca and Dan. If you could be in any film, which one would you be in and which character would you be and why? Well, this is gonna be lame because everyone knows it's my favorite movie, but I kind of want to time travel and mess with time and the space-time continuum. So, Marty McFly, Back to the Future, sold. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> um, I'd be the T-Rex from Jurassic Park, because she's a strong, independent woman who takes no shit. Nice. Uh, yeah. His answer's better. Take that. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Now we've got the comments of the week. Silor the Blade. Silor the Blade. There we go. Commented on top 10 fictional television schools. Complaining about the top 10 list? That's a paddling. I've got one here from Ruba Show, who commented on top 10 cult classic sci-fi movies. Plan 9 from Outer Space, the worst movie ever. You're tearing me apart, Watch Mojo! Xslayer52 commented on top 10 post-apocalyptic video games. You should have put Borderlands 1 and 2 on there. To which Evan Brown replied, Borderlands isn't post-apocalyptic. They just take place on a planet of assholes. And finally, Jack Henschel commented on top 10 celebrity lookalikes. Eminem, Slim Shady, and Marshall Mathers all look the same. That's a uh, very uh, astute observation there, Jack. Anyway guys, thanks as always for the comments and questions. If you'd like more FAQs answered, be sure to tune in tomorrow for the FAQ section with Rebecca and a mystery host. And check out What's Your Mojo again next week to find out what my show is going to be about. Fancy. And of course, if you want your questions answered, leave them here in the comments. Catch us on Twitter or Facebook or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. Don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ, and if you want a nifty t-shirt, head over to watchmojo.com slash store. I can't do that. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching, and tune in again next time for another edition of What's Your Mojo? I know Kung Fu.